All right, it's been a while since I've played Donkey Kong Country 3, so it is a big smudge in my memory bank. Hello there, it's me, Mrs. Wrinkly Kong. I found life too hectic at school, so I quit my job and I just play, is that? That's a Nintendo 64. You got, how'd you get a Nintendo 64? We're still on the Super Nintendo. Yo, Dixie, what's happening? I've set up my smoking new boat shop. The text goes fast in this game. Here, take this baby with you. No license, no money. He's like, take this speedboat and this infant and go sail the open seas. All right, it really has been a long time since I've played Donkey Kong Country 3. And it's probably my least favorite of the bunch, but that could change. That opinion could very well change because it has been so long. Look how happy he is to be carried. And meanwhile, Dixie Kong is suffering. Give me that. Oh, damn. There we go. Give me the DK coin. Because that also stands for Dixie Kong. Any game that has the Donkey Kong Country name attached to it is good. So... Even if this does turn out to be my least favorite, after all these years, it's still a great game. Grab 15 bananas! 15 bananas, don't you know who I am? I like these mini games though. They only get better. Oh, I see, because they're green, you think I'm not gonna see them. Because you think they're gonna kind of blend into the wood. I got you, I got you. Two more, no problem, easy. Look how cute the elephant is. What are his powers again? Oh, that's right, he can... I I'm pretty sure elephants can't do that. I don't think their noses or trunks work like vacuums. Door stop dash, okay, I remember. We gotta grab the handle, and then we gotta run like a bat out of hell. That's right, we can fly. Wait, hang on, look at Kitty Kong. <laughs> he just, he just floats down. Oh, they're buzzsaw bees. They're bees saws. Now here's the question, and I guess let me know, and the answer's probably going to be yes. So I'm just asking, you know, to boost the comments on this. Are we also playing Jungle Beat? Cause I got my bongos. All right, now you're raising the question, who's a worse babysitter, Dixie Kong or Yoshi? I mean, Kitty Kong looks pretty safe right now. Hell, he's built like a tank. I need him to protect me. Yeah, this game's too easy. See, I knew it was gonna be easy. Oh, okay, that's fine, you can do that. Just a baby on his own now. I gotta tell you, no one's messing with this baby. Kitty Kong looks like he has the arm wrestling championship in daycare. All right, Diddy Kong's back. Not that I really, oh, that one, that's terrifying. Get out of here, leave me alone. I'm gonna take you with me. What do I need it for? Oh, you can't go in the water. Oh my God, that's one fat bird. You're coming to Thanksgiving dinner. Who needs a coconut gun that fires in spurts? When you got those biceps. Kitty Kong is yoked. He's like, oh, 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 I'm gonna fall. Oh, no, oh, wait, let me go this way. Oh, bash the baddies. Kitty Kong looks like he's ready to bash. Oh, I didn't bash. I like how you have to trick this guy. You gotta bounce like off the back. Find the coin. It's not find the coin. It's more like survive and get to the end. See, I told you this game is too easy. Throw a challenge at me. I'm the greatest Donkey Kong Country player alive. Murky Mill. Ew, it's covered in asbestos. I gotta say though, they're real generous with the bananas in this one. They realize that the first two games are hard as balls. It seems like a little too much murk and not enough mill. Excuse me, sir. Sorry, I gotta get through. Nothing personal. I liked what you were doing and everything. Aren't elephants supposed to be scared of mice? Is that an urban legend or is that a real thing? Or is that just something that's like a cartoon stereotype? Bash the buddies. If there's one thing I'm good at, it's buddy bashing. Wait. Oh, wait, wait, wait. I think he does get afraid. Don't you like how this dude is defending this DK coin with just like a bucket on his head? I didn't think he could see out of it. Oh, I get it. You can't see them in the light. Listen, I get it. Most people don't want to see me in the light either. And then poof. At midnight, Dixie Kong turns back from an elephant into an ape. Belch's barn. This is a terrifying boss, by the way, but it also kind of feels like it'd be something out of Super Mario RPG. I don't know if it's just the, the mode seven. Hello, I'm trying to pick the bug up. Why I would want to pick one of these up? Why he needs to eat the bug to die? I have no idea. Excuse you, homie. When's the last time you've been to the dentist? Something wrong with your teeth. I mean, he doesn't have any hands, so I don't know how he's brushing or flossing. You know, you get one of these little legs of the bug stuck in your teeth. Gross. What, no tip? That was five-star service. This game's too easy. I told them, and I said, listen, Donkey Kong Country 1 and 2 were hard. You gotta make this game hard. You know that I am the world's greatest Donkey Kong Country player. You don't want me to breeze through it on stream in 25 years, do you? Ow. See, they want you to go for the bananas, but I'm not going to. I don't need them. If I needed them, that'd be a different story. I got plenty of bananas. Plus, I don't even think uh, Kitty Kong has his teeth yet, so 
I, well, but then again, bananas are probably a good baby food. You mash them up real nice. Oh, I went too fast. Oh, you think a moving barrel is gonna stop me? You think I can't move to the rhythm, to the beat of your heart? Look at this, two, H hang on, I was behind it. What is this thing? What is this little crab guy? Oh, thank you, I, uh, thank you for the assist. All right, we're in the forest. What is, what is chasing me? That's a beast! Ah! Uh, I don't like the timer at the bottom. It, it's scaring me. You know what, it's probably just a speed run timer because they know how good I am at this game. So like, we gotta, we gotta challenge him. I'm actually, I'm, uh, I'm on track for a world record run here. See, look, just, we're just setting records. We can't be stopped. Ah. That time we didn't jump at all. See, back in my day, you could die a thousand times to the same stupid enemy, and you just, you have to deal with it. You get no special mushrooms, or you get no special power-ups. There's no golden tanuki leaves in this game, ladies and gentlemen. You gotta just do your best. Kid, you're on your own. You gotta raise yourself, live in the wild. Crap! Oh, I missed the jump! <laughs> the bees may not be able to get me underwater, but my impatience can. Oh, not, not so tough now, stupid bees. Yeah, try something. Ah, psych! Broke those ankles. Oh crap, they come for me. Oh damn it, I spoke too soon. Squeals on wheels. I don't care how annoying the stage is, I like the name. Wait, what did I do? Why do I feel like we kind of need those guys though? You know what, I kind of feel bad killing the mice. Cause they're just like clocking in, just doing the hard labor. You got two mice in the break room. Hey Marty, how many miles are you doing on the wheel today? Yeah, I don't know, about a hundred. You ought to ask the boss for a raise. I like how the stage basically has like a kilometer. Well, not not like a kilometer. You gotta drop it all the way down to green. All right, the door's open. We must descend. We've descended too far. Oh wait, no, this is the right way. Wait, look at the little bird. He must confront the bully bird. Now listen, you gotta take him head on. You can't show him you're afraid. And then poof, the little bird ended up turning into a sandwich. Hey kitty, it's your choice today. Which game would you like to play? Head to head, race 25 or endurance? Let's test out that baby heart. So you've reached the bonus game then, have you? I know you. You can't fool me, Cranky Kong. Okay, now, Cranky's got an arm. Cranky's got a cannon. The mini games in this game are actually really good. I think Donkey Kong Country 3 has the best mini games and bonus games. Kitty's a, he's a prodigy though. Be the next Mariano Rivera. Oh damn, the payout though. Spring and spiders. Nope, gonna hard nope this one. Oh good, he can't hurt me. He can only help me. Wait, look at this porcupine. He looks like a, uh, there used to be this run of like koosh balls when I was a kid, but they were like koosh friends. I gotta look up exactly what it was, but uh, they were like some of my favorite toys. Used to bring them to school. You are wild time koochlings, each sold separately. Spring and spiders. It sounds like something an oil tycoon would say, like Doug Dimmodome, if he got scared. Ah, spring and spiders. Man, this is one killer tree house. See, I grew up in Brooklyn, so uh, we didn't really have trees. So a tree house was just a pipe dream. And now like as an adult, you can just like go on Airbnb and be like, yeah, I'm gonna book a tree house. And I'm just gonna live there for a little while. I don't know how long I need this barrel, but I will carry it until, oh, it's gone. Well, that didn't last very long and you're gone as well. See, Dixie's kind of broken because she's got the glide. What does Kitty Kong have? Nothing. He's just a liability. The bananas, they speak to me and they say, drink. Oh, no wonder he was so heavy. He was carrying a 300 pound barrel. Uh Oh, pow. This poor dude, he has one job and he's bad at it. Raise the flag. And now we have to go into the spooky tree's mouth. A oh, boss level, give me that. W what do we do? I think we need to like get under there. Nope. Yeah, we gotta hit him like right in the jaw. We just gotta bust him in the chin with a barrel. Hey, no spitting, that's disgusting. All right, here we go, this is it, this is it. Bust him right in the jaw. Can I hit you again? Give me the band-aid. Whatever the hell that thing is. A patch, oh yeah, this is just what I needed. Oh, hell yeah, now we go over the rocks. Now we're cruising. Paz's blockade. There's a lot of water in this. Donkey Kong Country 3 just takes place on, like, a bunch of tropical islands. Gotta tell you, this Kitty Kong has got an incredible set of lungs. He's already performing at a professional Kong level. He can run, he can roll, he can stay underwater for hours. Oh, jeez. Come on, come on, go, go. Oh, uh, oh! Uh. Please get me out of here. All right, rocket barrel ride. Wait, this kind of looks like one... I think it's the opening world Angel Island of Sonic 3. After Knuckles meets up with Eggman, and he like punches like the Chaos Emeralds out of Sonic or however it starts. Maybe it's a shared universe. Oh, 
there are different layers. If you're behind the waterfall, you can't jump into a barrel that's in front of it. You know what? You, sir, you will live to see another day. Finally, Wrinkly got her ass up from the N64. She's getting some exercise now. I was gonna say, you can't just like sit down and play video games all day, right? I mean, who does that? Wait, <laughs> look at these guys. I forgot about them. I'm starting to unlock some memory doors because like I haven't played this game since, I don't know, I had to be nine years old, maybe 10. It's been a minute. It's been like two decades and I still have all the cartridges because even though I abandoned some of my PlayStation games when I was older, which was probably one of the stupidest things I've ever done. Also some of my Game Boy games, I my Super Nintendo games. Who am I kidding? I sold my Super Nintendo as well, but I bought it back. But I didn't get rid of most of my games. I didn't have my priorities straight. Oh no, oh god, oh jeez. Oh, uh -huh. ah, ah! Woo, oh, oh, you didn't know. I got those quick fingers. Can, can I get a barrel, please? Anywhere? Can somebody hook me up? Oh, I don't need it, we finished the level. I'm here to hustle Cranky Kong again. Shut up and throw, old man. I may have spoke too soon. I don't quite have the arm that uh, Kitty Kong has. It's Cranky, he don't miss. This is gonna be close, this is a nail biter. This is a nail biter. We got him. We got him beat. We smoke this ape. Take a rest, old man. Tracker barrel trek. Sounds like some kind of, like, trail mix. Man, Rare knew what they were doing in the 90s. Gotta say, all three of these games, absolute bangers. Talk about striking gold three times in a row. And you know what? They're games that actually hold up, too. Sometimes you go back, you play older games, they don't hold up very well. But this trilogy, aged like a fine wine. Look at this. Master tier platforming, right in front of your eyes. You're watching history, people. Squirt's showdown. Hey, are you Squirt? Oh, you are. Yeah, drink up. Oh no, crap. Oh, what? I don't quite remember, but I'm assuming I have to use the water. Oh yeah, we gotta squirt him in the... You know what? I'm not gonna finish that sentence. If this dude had goggles, he would be undefeated. Here you go. That's it. Spit it. What was that? What? What is that? Oh, it's a ski, right? We gotta bring it to Funky. Hey, Kong's a ski, not too shabby. Problem is, though, I'm gonna need uh, its partner before I can get... Oh, that's right. You need two skis. We gotta work on this one because it kind of feels like they're pouring some chemical waste into the water. You know, I won't lie. It took me a little while to start remembering this game because I really... Like, I've revisited one and two, but three I haven't played in a hot minute because it came out at like the end of the Super Nintendo's lifetime and I I had the game, but you know, the N64 was out at that point. So I was just like, I was playing N64 games. I really wasn't going back to my Super Nintendo all that much, which is ironic because now that I'm an adult, I go back to my Super Nintendo all the time because it's my favorite console. And for good reasons, this poor bird has terrible aim. Grab those nanners. This is an easy stage. Can we make it through without dying? I gotta say, uh, there's definitely fireballs, but it's not much of a frenzy. I don't feel very frenzied. All right, this is more like it. Slightly frenzy. All right, I was talking smack, but I actually might die here. Woo, woo, oh, I, damn it. Man, it feels real good to get all the, the letters. Because, you know, everyone knows you need that one up every now and then. Everyone gets by with a little help from their friends. Okay, let me just remember how this controls. So we can attach ourselves to the ceiling or to the, uh, to the rail on top. Yep, that works. Okay, I got like skis on the bottom. I should be able to jump on anything and not feel it. Oh, oh crap. All right, you're on your own, Dix. D Dixie. See, the whole idea is to, I, I missed the save barrel, didn't I? The whole idea is you want to anticipate and you want to look ahead. All right, I have one Kong left and I'm pretty far into level, so I'm definitely going to die. Just a matter of, hey, wait, hey, we made it. Hang on a second, hang, hang on a second. I see the treasure and I want the treasure. Stupid. You'll never learn. Always standing with your back to a wall. Ripsaw rage. It's not so much rage as it is impending doom. All right, kid, you're on your own. The years of therapy that Kitty Kong is going to need just from the sheer abandonment. Oh, cool. We don't know how to throw either. Ah! <laughs> how long is this level? And who's ever moving the saw? Are their arms tired yet? All right. Oh no, okay. Can I jump on these? I can, good, good to know. Okay, I gotta do a gamer thing over here. Ah, oh, I got shot! I gotta say, Kitty Kong for being a, a toddler. It's really great motor skills. He can climb, he can roll, he can, oh no, go, oh no, run, 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 or climb! This is what we like to call a pro gamer move. I'm too good. I found my groove, I'm schmoving right now. Oh crap, 
No, 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 no. We've come so far. Find the right time. Go, go, go. Ah, no. I didn't think it was going to be that fast. Man, speedrunning this level must feel really good. Because bouncing across the barrels, like hitting the rhythm, it feels nice. Oh, we were right here. We were just inches away from the flag. Oh, this is weird. That's what the zero G is, zero gravity. But this looks like poisonous gas. So the zero G actually comes at a cost. I should at least be able to short hop or ground pound, but being able to float, or I guess spin, you think Dixie Kong would probably puke after a while. Hey, you can turn into a bird. Well, it's kind of cruel to keep an animal in these very toxic conditions. So if it's zero gravity, shouldn't the bird have to flap less? It's flapping a normal amount to fly. Gotta say though, after some of the uh, some of the vine stages in Donkey Kong Country 2, this is a cakewalk. I say, and then I immediately have a close call. Poor guy, even in zero gravity, can't even enjoy it. I don't know if we need this, but I'm gonna take it. I'm bringing it with me. I wish I had Dixie Kong here. I kind of need Dixie Kong to feel safe. Ha! <laughs> Who needs Dixie Kong? Not me. She just drags me down. Chaos Carnage. That's Chaos Carnage? Looks like a trash can. You must be destroyed. He's got a tape player for a belly. All right, how do I... Okay, that's not how you do it. Oh, I remember now. We need to... Yeah, this is safe. Jump on the blades and bounce on his stupid head. Big scary chaos carnage with his tape player and his boxing gloves. Oh no, the head's coming off. All right, you're done. That's it. Push that head in. Bzz, 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 Kong's win. Or do that. I don't trust you. Get away from me. Does not compute. Next time we meet, chaos will win. So what you're saying is you'll be back. All right, so we got two skis now. Gotta go back to Uncle Funky. Well, he, you, whatever, I don't know. Dialogue, blah, blah, blah. He's making something. Turbo ski, bonkers. I've built a cool turbo feature that'll be sure to take you to new heights. Just press Y. Oh, geez. I can jump the waterfalls now. Oh, these guys are back. I love these little monsters. You just gotta break their ankles a little bit. Woo! Thought you're just gonna corner me there? Don't think so. What's the uh, speed running world record for this stage? Because I'm probably really close to it. And to think, I could do the entire thing without getting hit, too. Wild. I didn't get hit. Um, it was a glitch. Oh! Crazy how there were just two glitches in the same level. Maybe they'll release a patch or something. Again, I was right here. I was at the end. Tear away toboggan. Toboggan. Toboggan? Bash the baddies. I got you. Watch this. It's clobbering. You're gonna tell me that a whole ass bobsled going at 30 miles an hour and he could just tank it? My heart's racing. Can we do it? This is the run. We're gonna win the Olympic gold. All right, what do we have here? What do we need this barrel for? Kill the fat chicken? Don't mind if I do. Turn you into a sandwich. Gotta say though, there is an abundance of lives in this game. I never, I actually might even be able to beat this game without getting a game over. <laughs> Yeah, right. I distinctively remember this as a kid. I just opened a memory door that I didn't know existed because of this thing. God, this is atrocious. I forgot how bad this was. Imagine trying to do this without Dixie Kong. Is that possible? Who was in the office that day was like, yeah, barrel stairs. That's what this game needs. Maybe they got fired that day. Crack shot croc. I heard he relapsed. Completely forgot about my homie here who can control webs with his mind. He spits them, but he can also just kind of like, he can web bend. He's a web bender. Oh no, oh no. They're gonna shoot me. Oh crap, can't, relax, re uh, listen. I'm just here to do my job. You know what, I don't like bananas that much. I'm a spider. I just eat other insects. Don't fall into the vat of boiling bubble gum. You gotta have patience to 100% this game or 103 or whatever the number is now, because there's, there's a lot of things here. Ooh, oh boy. Come on, keep dodging, keep dodging, keep going. Huh, oh, not so tough now, Mr. Crosshairs, you stupid. Ain't got nothing on me. Lemguin Lunge, what the hell's a Lemguin? Yeah, I hate this. I can tell you right now that I hate this. No, no, he's gaining on me. Oh, that's fine, that's fine, iframes. Wow, okay. Part of me thought that stage was gonna be a lot harder. All right, we're going to Bleak's house. Look at the little face in the snow. He's mad. Oh, see, okay, I was I was ready for this. I was just preparing for it. Just gotta, gotta lob one up there. Come on, Frosty. It reminds me of the snowman from Clay Fighter. What's his name? Is it like Jack Frost also or something? Do you know what a copy of Clay Fighter 63 and a third, or I, I guess uh, Sculptor's Cut is the rare one. Do you know what that goes for, for N64? Do you know how much money? Because they just straight up didn't sell the game. 
Watch where you're shooting that snow. Come on, pick your head up. Pick your stupid head up. Uh-oh. Uh, I think he's having a heart attack. Benny's chairlift. So it sounds like a real exciting stage. Oh. Oh, that's... That's fire. Literally. That, that is fire. Okay? I did a dumb. See, I usually die on these stages a lot because I'm impatient. You kind of have to wait for the screen to scroll. And I just, I want to go fast. I want instant gratification. Is that it? That's it, right? Wait a second. I wasted my time. Yep, I died. Okay. That's like the fourth time now. Right on cue. Pothole panic. Wow, that's one strong bird because that's one heavy ape. Where are the potholes? You know, I think the water levels in Donkey Kong Country games are not as bad. I think it's the, the flying levels. Maybe it's also the water levels. Nintendo heard me complaining about flying and water levels, and they were like, give them both in one. Combine the two. Make him realize his biggest fear. We now have Elephant Boy. Ride, Dumbo, ride. I see what we have to do here. We gotta do the Yoshi thing. I'm so sorry. Friendship ended with whatever his name is. My best friend is now the spider, who is now gone. Ropey Rumpus. What do we do with this? I guess that. I think we can all agree this is a fun level. But fun comes with a cost. Who is this chalk? He's faster. He's stronger. He's smarter. And then we move on to the next boss fight, which we went from a, an angry face in the snow to an angry face in the water. Oh, uh, we have an underwater boss fight. Pow! Oh, no. Okay, that didn't work. We got to play a little bit of... There we go. A little bit of Waluigi's pinball. Two. And then we got to poke him right in the eyeball. He's got homing missiles. He's like Launch Octopus. Come on. Boom! Get him! Wait! I will admit that Donkey Kong Country 3 has the more creative boss fights, but I don't know if they're the best. But they definitely flex their creative muscles in this one. What's happening here? Oh, okay, that's fun. Boom! Get drop. Drop him. Poke you in the eye! Give me that coin. Spit it out. Me gold doubloons! To Chaos Core, which looks like a very nice hotel. So who copied who? You have both Donkey Kong Country and uh, Mortal Kombat both using Ks, as if the letter C doesn't exist. Yikes. Oh, outrun it, outrun it. Excuse me, Sonic the Hedgehog. Look, they're already throwing the save barrel at me. They have no faith. They got no faith in me. Come on, this is the last world. We made it. Oh, jeez. That's tough. Like, I know I'm a professional Donkey Kong Country player, but you gotta admit, even for me, it's hot. Come on. Oh, yep. Give me the extra life. Need everything I can get at this point. <gasps> we made it. Oh, ghost barrels. You jerk. These ghost barrels, they're kind of scummy. No, leave me alone. Leave me alone. Yep. Oh, no, I walked. <laughs> I'm telling you, I'm right by the exit because that's where I die the most. Lightning lookout. Oh, I didn't look out. I just got struck by lightning. Oh, jeez. Lightning look out. More like lightning look up. I don't like this one. I, I don't like this. This feels like the first time that I played uh, Breath of the Wild and I got hit by lightning. They say lightning never strikes twice in the same place. Well, clearly, they have never played Donkey Kong Country 3. Just wait for it to happen, please. All right, we're good. Oh, wait. <laughs> we could just watch the enemies get struck. Okay. Yeah, fine. Hang on to this guy. Just in case. And that didn't last very long at all. Come on. This level is frightening. Very, very frightening. Just like lightning. Oh, no. What? A way to get a game over. What a way to get a game over. The barrel couldn't break a second earlier. Now we got to go night night in the crib. Fine. We'll speed run it. Something's going to kill me. It's not going to be the lightning. It'll be the lightning. You know, there's always one stage that they warn you about, and I'm pretty sure Lightning Lookout is that stage. This is the chaotic evil of all the hard Donkey Kong Country stages. Come on, we gotta be close to the end. We gotta be really close. I can feel it. <gasps> oh no, oh no, we made it! Oh, oh, thank God! We just needed to be humbled just a little bit. What happens here? Oh, I, I know, I remember. Oh yeah, oh, I definitely remember. Oh, you can't get me up here. Do I want it? Yeah, I want it, because I'm greedy. Oh crap, oh crap, no, let me on, let me on, please, please, I wanna live! All right, I think I've hit my stride. I think this is it, I think we got this. 
Bit of a breather when you just get a regular Kremlin. I would say Lightning uh, Lookout is definitely harder. Like, that was annoying at first, but once you get into the groove, it's not so bad. All right, time for some poisonous pipeline. Oh, that's right. Everything's backwards. Oh God, this is very disorienting. Okay, so for you, the viewers at home, uh, the controls are reversed. I gotta play this backwards. So once you get out of the water, the controls are fine. When you're in the water, they're reversed. This is some Mario Party sh and you gotta think about it constantly. You can't stop thinking about reverse controls for one second. Because as soon as you do, it's over. You'll bump into a stupid clownfish or something. Hit a clam. Ooh, we got this. Feeling good. I'm feeling good in the neighborhood. Piece of cake. Castle chaos. Something's going on in that, uh, that attic. Whirr, click, click. Kong's back. Click, bzz. This time, chaos will be victorious. Will he, though? I like that he's wearing sunglasses. You want me to throw the barrel at his big stupid head? Here, hold this. It'll make your head spin. Oh, brother, this guy stinks! Wait, where, where are you going? Off to the repair shop. Well, I guess that's it. <gasps> it's K. Rulenstein! Oh, no! What have you done? My wife's going to kill- He's married? There's all her best pots and pans to make him. And then you just cast him aside, get it cast, because he's used cast iron. Here, hold this. That didn't work. There we go. Just need to make a malfunction. Well, the good news is we just get to fight K. Rule again. We don't have to go through the whole robot shebang. Okay. Oh, oh, he got electrocuted. So we can only really stand over here. This is it. This is it. He's got nothing else to do. Is he dead? Almost, we're getting close. I and mean, we, we gotta beat this with Dixie anyway. We can't beat this with no baby, no stupid infant. I'm staying up here until I realize that he's dead. Okay, he's not dead yet. Broken recovery. Good night, K. Rule. Come on, fry up that alligator. Okay, there, give me the coin. You ain't tricking me like in the end of Donkey Kong Country 1. The boys, they're here. Whoa, oh, my head. One minute I was dreaming about the world's biggest pile of bananas. Oh, Donkey Kong, never change. The next I was a power crazed madman. Hey, don't worry, Donkey. Thanks to Dixie, it's over. I'm impressed. Saved by a babysitter and a literal infant. And so ends the Donkey Kong Country trilogy, which means we're gonna have to now play Returns and Tropical Freeze.